welcome on back to Baseless Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, I thought we were done with this shit. My name is Tori. Uh, it's real. Thompson. My name is Tyler. <laughs> Matheson. Hate that. Uh, I'm going to go first, Tyler, because I hated that. Okay. And I also yeah, got to know something that's been really panging me lately. It's been giving me pangs. Yeah, yeah. You've been is pegged a, a lot lately. Is that a I proper get, <laughs> proper verb? Pang. P-A-N-G, correct? Pang. 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 Do y'all ever, do y'all ever get nervous when you get carded still? N- no, no. Not even a little bit. Fuck, when's the last time I've been carded? I get carded all the time because I'm a sweet, young-looking boy. Yeah. They think I have a youthful energy. I just don't energy. buy things that require me to get carded often. <laughs> I'm a 28-year-old man. Oof. My ID is real. And I feel like I look like I'm older than 21 at least. I'm I'm I got a bit a little bit of a baby face, but I look like I'm over 21. Yeah, you got a smoochable little time, face. I got a smoochable. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate you saying that. You don't really show me your affection that often, so it means a You're lot welcome. when you do say. You should it. take this as a compliment because of your skincare routine paying off. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I've been using a lot of Sarah V because I saw Michael Sarah in the commercial. Yeah, and so I had to get anyway. And no matter how many times. Like it happens. It's like I have nothing to hide, right? Like everything is completely mm-hmm. as it should mm-hmm. be. But every time I set my beer on the counter and they go, "Can I get an ID?" I do get a little bit nervous that they're gonna look at it and be like, huh, "It's a good one," but I can tell. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the same. It's the same shit when you go through airport security too, right? You get to the front of the line and go, "Oh fuck, what if I accidentally brought a gun?" <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I have a Bowie knife. How did that get in my shoe? I think it's a little bit lower stakes though than that because like at the airport, <laughs> it's a good fake, but you're under arrest for 25 years. Right. Where's the bar? <laughs> yeah. just, get out get out of here, you little rascal. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, if go. they you didn't what? believe me, they'd be like, look, I, we're just not going to complete this sale. Please be on your way. Like, But yeah, that's that's almost more embarrassing in a way because like life just has to continue after that. If you go to jail for 25 years because of some TSA agent, well, that's just what happens with your life now. But when they take your idea and go, nah, man, this is fake. Get out of here. You have to live with that in real life again. (laughs) Yeah. And it's even worse if it is real. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Which mine is. I have nothing to hide again. Well, no, they're not going to get, they're going to keep it. If they think it's a fake, they're going to be like, this is mine now. Just like, no, bro, that's like a $90 renewal. If I lose that, please, I need that back. Come nah, on, don't, get out don't of here. do he's this. Like, he's like, that photo's too cute. They never take them that good at the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try to fight us. We will call the police. Honestly, I kind of want you to, so you, you, they can tell you it's a real one, but I don't want to go through the social interaction. <laughs> Look, I don't, hey, I just don't somebody know Somebody make to, a call to, to the this. bar. <laughs> Something about a fake ID. <laughs> Yeah, it's this guy. There's no way he's 21. He's got way too smoochable of a face. Get out of here, you rascal. There's like, send the FBI. We actually don't do that for ID fraudsters. We just send a big man to hit them until they stop moving. <laughs> like, oh no, please take me to jail. Uh-uh. Well, here's the thing. It's- <laughs> Not this got- guy. <laughs> That that dude's name is Mike, okay? And he's he's really good at darts. He's going to hit you till you can't that's, feel anything anymore. That's Mike and he's going to make you dumb. You remember the fight in Red Dead 2 where Arthur like knocks that dude stupid? Uh-huh. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Like all of a sudden like Tori went from like he was such a bright young boy to like he's trying to fit a square in like a triangle peg hole being like Look what I did today while his girlfriend was at work. She's going to be like, that's great, Tori. Look. They're, art it's project. just going to be people putting like an iPad in front of me as I just stare blankly into it and watch Coco Melon. God. <laughs> now, what's worse? The walk of shame out of the bar. Yeah. Or being held underneath the Denver airport for 25 years where they're keeping the real queen. Right. Hmm. Do you have confirmation on that or you just kind of spitball on that one it's it's in the mainstream media it's it's, it's all reported it's all known okay. it's, it's all fact checked. confirmed i don't yeah. i don't follow news too much so i just wanted to yeah make it's sure. all confirmed yeah. you mainstream can media lies sources. but also they did they also agree with us on this one which means it's true so abc it. confirmed okay. it okay. It's, it's all confirmed so let's just listen to what we say please mm-hmm. now i again tsa can lock you in 
the basement of the Denver airport where they do mm-hmm. keep a Cerberus, the real queen, a hoard of yeah. gold, if you can make your way out with it, and automatons. Mm-hmm. They do have automatons under there. Mm-hmm. Sure. You are up against all that, or the walk of shame out of a bar when the bartender says, you're not 21, I don't believe you. Hey, I'm going to be real with you real quick here. Yeah. yeah I, think I'm going, I think I'm going to the Denver airport. You're taking the automatons. Yeah. Yeah. The walk, of, the walk of shame is real bad. Yeah, they're like the T2 ones where they, they have big machine guns attached to their arms and they'll just rip you to shreds. That only changes my answer by like 5%. I'm still going to the Denver airport. Okay. What if, okay, okay, hear me out on this one. What mm-hmm. if liquor stores, bars, dispensaries, anywhere that needs to like ID you to be a certain thing. If you mm-hmm. go in there and you give them a fake or in my fear, they just decide that yours isn't real enough (laughs) for their liking what if you do have to do the walk of shame out the door but posted right outside of the exit is a man who will do seppuku to you so you step out the door drop to one knee and they behead you that's not seppuku it's close enough to seppuku if you if this if you make this an i know something i'll no 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 like seppuku is like oh so, oh yeah so do it so do it suicide not a fucking homicide yeah but noblemen would ha- would cut their heads off so they didn't have to deal with all the pain tay why don't you read a fucking book all right read okay, a book chill you sound like a dumb person <laughs> uh, mm. know anything what tyler s- any facts what do you what do you say <laughs> no not really <laughs> <laughs> Stopped learning a while ago because I know all the mainstream media is lying to me. I know everything I need to. And then on the other things, I just make it up as I go along. Um, I'm wondering what I even pull out my ID for, though, because at this point, I really don't know what it's for. Like, Brother, I, you're sipping on a cold Coors right now. All right. You tell me you didn't get ID for that bad boy. Not even a little bit. Mm-mm. Not one bit. Not one tiny bit. I go to very sketchy liquor stores. Uh-huh. It's cheaper that okay. way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe it's because I go to liquor stores where they have to scan everyone's ID in order to make a purchase go through. No, wow, no, damn, I don't pay that's in one cash. bougie liquor store. <laughs> it's it's literally a quick trip gas station. Oh, look at you. Whoa, a quick <laughs> a trip. Lot, a lot what a of holiday trip. like the rest of us. Hoity wow, you can ass. afford quick trip. Nah, Tyler's wow. talking about the the fucking hole in the strip mall. <laughs> Yeah, it's called like, like Schmitty's. That has like maybe two coolers in it. <laughs> it doesn't have a name. It's a hole in the wall inside of an Asian restaurant where they're illegally running like a liquor store out of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. it's not. That. It's not real business. But at this point, I really don't know what my license is for. Like whenever anyone asks to like, hey, can I see your license? It's more of just like a oh, God, I got to dig this fucking thing out of my wallet. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, it's more the of an luster, inconvenience. The luster of being able to be like, huh, yeah, I'm of age has definitely worn off. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, yeah, now sure. great. I'm fucking I gotta sift through my Arby's coupons and find my ID for you. All and then I drop one on them. the floor <laughs> and it's like, fuck, no, that's my two for one beef and cheddar. You can't take yeah. that. And then someone steps Need on that. it and rips it up. And now it's like the manager at Arby's is a hard ass. He's never gonna accept that now. The barcode <laughs> is ripped. I have a blood feud with the manager at the local Arby's. He doesn't like I, me. I don't like him. I want to hear literally everything about that. Not on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's because I order the jalapeno poppers and they never have them ready. So they always have to bake hey, them fresh. Hey, and he's like, hey, you bud, fucking asshole. Hey, what did I just say? <laughs> Fine. Guess we don't want content here. Guess we guess we hate checking in with our old pal. See how he's doing. Fine. No so, one cares about what I have to say. So, Tori, what do you think the solution here is? What what would make your ID feel more real? I don't know. I think it's the <laughs> Sisyphusian curse I, I'm stuck with. I think if it was metal instead of plastic, that yeah, would yeah. go a lot. That would make it That'd feel be, way you know more what? legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an Amex card, mm-hmm. that kind of feel where it's like, it's got some heft. It's got a little bit of import to it. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It's the, yeah it's that the might do it. the premiumness of it that yeah. definitely sets it aside from those flimsy little paper plastic. They're not like quite plastic. They're like somewhere in between, right? It's a bend. It's a bendy plastic. 
Mm-hmm. I might as well go to a fucking office max and print out my own ID. Like, what am I paying so sure. much for? This thing is a mm-hmm. dog shit material. Now, if I could get some like titanium on that. What thing? if at a certain age they're like, hey, I need to see your ID, and then you pull it out, and not only is it metal, but like, oh, it's a shiny? Mm. That, oh, you that get goes different, hard. I'm not gonna lie. You get different licenses, not based on your tax bracket, but based on <laughs> your ethnicity. <laughs> oh yeah 100 percent. if it's white you get the titanium oh my god if you have white and blue eyes you get a white glove service oh like, my god also if you're under 200 pounds they send you through a special line they're like no fatties allowed uh-huh. <laughs> that's the license Think that is it. the dmv experience did, that i'm see, looking for see this is what always happens i do a little like he he i'm being you a do little... a joke and then we yes and, <laughs> and then we sorry and then we add to the <laughs> no, joke our bad I, no it's it's what do you want to tell the joke and then tori it. and i clap <laughs> like seals what do you expect <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be I'm good. saying that it's entirely on me that I open the door for you two to just scuttle on in and do your racism. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, 100%. we're not doing racism. It's actually a very deep commentary on the people who are actually racist, okay? <laughs> okay no. sure. What? I'm being racist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were being serious. <laughs> You're like, Tori, I wish you would have said something. The unspeakable (laughs) acts I've committed on the Irish is. Are you kidding? There's like eight years of content where I thought we were serious. (laughs) I do believe Skyrim is for the Nords. Yes. Oh, God. (laughs) Jesus. Is there like, so, so you have your ID, right? But you know how sometimes people need to like authenticate things by like getting signatures or whatever from like the person who issued it? So what if you got a signature from the person who issued your ID at the DMV on a separate piece of paper and showed both? Oh, you need mm. like it's a two-step verification to buy some beer. Right. And then on top of that, the uh the signature has to be collated. So you have like you know, I'm just going to keep going here and say like hypothetically like 15 documents to prove who you are. Sure. Is there so like just carry those carry those on you wherever. What's that called when someone like co-signs a loan for you? Co-signing, co-signing alone. Co-signing. I know there's, I know there's a, I know there's a specific name for it, but we'll call it co-signing Being a good for now. Dad, uh, you need like someone to like co-sign like all of your like legal doc, like your license, and then they have to show up and be with you every single time you need any amount of verification, or just the embarrassing like, be sure you can buy this beer. We're gonna, <laughs> they got like your dad's phone number on the back of your license, and they're like, hey, is this, uh, is this Eric? Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, your son's here trying to buy beer. Holy God, you guys got a hold of him? He answers the phone <laughs> <Dad>. for you? <laughs> oh, no, I Tori, was thinking, don't know him, bye. I was thinking, like, having that that legal assistant next to you for <laughs> for an interaction, and the person issue like, trying to sell you beer is, like, cocking an eyebrow at you and goes, like, What's the capital of <laughs> what's the capital of this state? Your notary just steps in and be like, don't answer that. Don't answer that. <laughs> capital of Luxembourg now, idiot. That's miserable. I think just titanium, actually. I think just a yeah. just a more official looking. Just a more then, premium Tori, material. You're gonna have you're gonna have an amount of confidence. Like now instead of being worried whenever they like, hey, can I see some ID? Instead of that, like, oh God, what if blah blah blah. You pull out like a metal, like titanium, like Amex style card and hand mm-hmm. them that, it becomes like, yeah, I have an excuse to pull this out. Check it out. It's real. You like Ooh. that? It's got a nice ding, color ding. on it. No, no, no. Here's what we do. Are you ready? Yeah. You get a fake police badge. Okay. Well, this is not a okay. great way to make me hear feel me better out. about it, hear, but go hear on. Me out. So impersonating an officer, look- we're starting out strong. Yep. They're going to say, like, are you sure this ID is real? Then you're just going to roll your eyes and flash your F, your fake FBI badge. And, you know, just like, I just want to drink, man. Because they're not going to challenge that as much as they're going to challenge an ID. Yeah. Shit, okay. that might work. Uh-huh, right? Then yeah. And then they'd also have to respect me. Uh-huh. You might get, like, a veteran's discount on that shit. And but you also, might get a discount. Yeah. I hate, Dude, I didn't I know they hate gave- to be the voice of reason here. 
but you have just escalated it to a felony charge for impersonating an officer. Like you took if something you, that was, hold on. I, I just want to, ma- I just want to make sure I'm walking you through this. We, est- we have established early on. Tori is not doing anything illegal at all. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. has got a legitimate non-expired driver's license for which he is purchasing age restricted materials and goods legally. You have now you, legally fully legally. You have now, Stepped in the middle of that process and said, <laughs> okay, what if we add a felony to it, though? And now you won't worry as much, What if Tori? we add a felony and improv, like, improv yeah. fucking training into this? Yeah. <laughs> Does that, would that not make you feel more confident about what's happening, though? Because they're not going to no. challenge it as much. I feel like you just increased all of the pressure. Now, Tor- hey, Tori, what jurisdiction are you in? Twelve. <laughs> what? <laughs> That See? I'm in the twelfth jurisdiction. See, that's I think they me. call it a precinct. No, no, that's a common misconception. Okay. You know my 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 uncle's in the force. Do you know? Do you know him? No, I'm from out of town. <laughs> really? I thought you just said you were in the twelfth <laughs> precinct. There are multiple. There are a lot of twelfth precincts around mm-hmm. here. Yeah. And, what, and what is he? A firefighter? Yeah, I hate those pussies. <laughs> oh, fire. They're really just going to double fist a big, thick, girthy hose? Gay. Oh, fucking gay. They want to make con- it spray everywhere? Ugh, I don't know about them. I have a, I have a neighbor that, um, that spray painted the fire hydrant outside of their house. That's <laughs> got to be super illegal, right? Yeah, yeah you can't seems, do that, That pal. seems like a crime. Right, I, that's, like it's a weird thing because it's like I don't care, but also that is illegal. Yeah, it's 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 largely. It largely I feel like it's like tampering with city anyone, property, but it's de- yeah, it's definitely destruction of property. But like, <laughs> it's certainly uncouth. Yeah, <laughs> it's not as. See, the thing that's giving me pause is why. Does the color red piss you off that much that you needed to change the fire? They made hydrant? it a worse color too. It's hot pink. Oh, oh in, no. in that case, that, that, does, is, that actually uh, does that is bother me. Unbelievably criminal. Yeah, it's a worse yeah. color. Nothing outside of maybe like clothing should ever be pink. Speaking of speaking of firefighters, I forgot to I forgot to mention this to you too in their in our group chat, but uh Earlier this this last week at my place of business, um, we were all hanging out in the store, vibing, and then all of a sudden there was this loud, and then all the power went out, and we didn't know what was happening until we went outside to look, and in in the city in which this business resides, there are transformer boxes just on the ground next to alleyways sometimes, and Decepticons, yeah, and uh a garbage truck backed into one of those and knocked out power for the entire block. Hell yeah. And also started a fire at a gay bar. (laughs) Wait, are those related? Or did he like, he's like, oh fuck, this day's shot. I'm going to go arson the gays. No, I think, I think that the power was an elaborate cover. It was like, oh, I didn't set it on fire. I just hit the transformer. (laughs) Yeah. The the power surge, I think, started the fire at the bar uh, next to the, the transformer. But, like, the firefighter response was immediate and insane. There were, like, seven or eight trucks on this tiny little corner street, and yeah. no one was in a hurry. Yeah, Everyone they know was kind of like, patron. you're yeah. making my point for me that the firefighters <laughs> just wanted to hang out at the gay bar because they love wrestling thick, girthy hoses and spraying all over the place. I'm just saying, if the, if I'm just they saying. needed at max... One fire truck outside that gay bar, right? Oh, it's a little suspicious maximum. that they called in the entire unit. You know, like there were six fire trucks. One employee with a with a fire extinguisher probably could have done the job. Mm-hmm. It seems a little sus. They weren't open at that point. It was like ten o'clock in the morning, and somehow all the firefighters were there already. I don't know. Mm. A little. Yeah. Sus? No. The more the more you're th- you know, the more you're talking about. Why it. are they in those calendars so much? I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, I'm it's just, just it's just things we need to consider, all right? Like you can do your own research, all right? Do your own research. I'm just research. asking questions. I'm just asking questions like are all firefighters gay? 
It was also I'm not being really... bigoted. I'm just asking questions. Mm-hmm. It's also really funny that like when you picture a person who is a police or not a police chief, a fire chief, can you describe that archetype of person to me? Oily, and how they look? muscly, on a calendar, maybe in February. Mustache. Mustache. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Why yeah. does every single fire chief have a gray mustache? Is it required for the job? Uh, to tickle the underside of the penis when they're at the balls. Mm. You, you pair that mustache with the fact that they're like, how should we get from one level to the next in this firehouse of ours? And someone's like, with a po- <laughs> let's do a pole. With, with a on fucking God, though, pole. On God, though, I think it makes sense. You're gay, though. <laughs> like, you're making the point. <laughs> you're making the points. <laughs> you know what? I've never considered that. You're right. <laughs> this is, we're we're adding up to like, this started off as a joke. I'm starting to convince myself. <laughs> I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think there's a lot of like, it's kind of like one of those like YouTube conspiracy videos. Like, did you know at the Denver airport, this aligns to make the shape of a swastika. It seems like we're crazy, pulling like crazy conspiracy theories. And we're like, did you know that all firefighters in the country (laughs) have to sign a secret gay oath? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Who else would think that type of helmet is worth wearing? <laughs> Why do they need helmets? <laughs> so, so the fire doesn't bonk them? Yeah. yeah. It's because they're keeping their immaculate hair in check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, true. you're... Yo! Oh, I'm just saying. Yo! I'm just saying. That's oh, why fuck. they wear all the clothes on the outside, like the, the big overcoats and shit, is to protect their real outfits underneath so mm-hmm. that they don't get them, like, dirty or whatever. Yeah. Fuck. Damn. Fuck. Did we yeah. just uncover something Sorry, huge? firefighters. <laughs> We're on to you. Someone's listening to this like, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> he's at, He is at work a lot. He does like have a lot, lot of work friends that he's always visiting. Hey, here's the other thing that makes me think it's a gay club. They're all volunteers. Oh, my God. God, you know what I mean? For it. It's for the love of the game. Oh, <laughs> fuck. There's like one oh, dude that so gets paid. Right. <laughs> fuck. You don't want to start pulling this thread, baby, because it don't stop. I, it I don't goes know. all the way to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. It's one of it's like it's like fucking national treasure. It's like one of our nation's deepest secrets. Like it was like a secret society started by fucking Benjamin Franklin that like all firefighters are secretly gay. And it's like this <laughs> giant Masonic secret. There's like huge temples devoted to the gay firefighters. I'm going to be like in Pennsylvania carving a brick out of an ancient stone building and I pull it out and I put on the glasses and it just makes me see everything in rainbow colors. <laughs> it's like you're like spinning like a part of a map and you're like hold on wait and if you align it it like makes this like fucking da vinci code style it pops open and there's like a golden like butt plug in it or something <laughs> we're no, on to you firefighters no, 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 no. it's a single golden earring <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh my god do you know what this is it's george michael's earring we have to go to london <laughs> That's part of the next clue. George Michael's grave. <laughs> oh my God, it's not just nationwide, it's global. Oh my God. Now, um, this has a very loose thread. Maybe he's played a maybe he's played a firefighter in a movie before, but I had a very strange dream and I woke up laughing so fucking hard, and I had to write this down. Uh, And I just, I felt the need to share this because Mm -hmm. it's extremely gay and hilarious. Oh, okay. I'll be the judge of that. So went to bed, normal night of sleep, right? I'm just, I'm just trying to go into Betty by land, catch some Z's, wake up the next morning for work. And my brain decides to think of in the middle of the night, deep in my REM cycle. (laughs) Okay. What if we have a meditation app? Like you have the Calm app, right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And it's like a Calm story 
that's narrated by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's mm-hmm. like, you're like trying to do a calm story and it's like this, fall into a deep, serene sleep with our audiobooks. Chapter one. You are falling into a deep sleep. <laughs> you are now tired, very tired. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? You are sifting through a jungle. Oh, it's a soft pillow you are laying on. It's extremely soft. But then, here's where it gets... Here's where I woke up laughing. Oh, there's an elevation? There's an elevation. It's that all of a sudden, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the recording booth, and he's like... He switches formula, and they're like, hold on, Arnold, we're not doing that, because Arnold is turning this into a... into a J-O-I video. (laughs) (laughs) Oh fuck! We're One of dancing those, uh, dangerously Jack- close to the Gilbert Gottfried sexual novel <laughs> readings. It's what is it? It's a jack off. Is it instruction? It's instruction. What's the I? Yeah, jack off instruction. So it's like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like you are falling, tired. You are very tired. Oh, you are getting so sleepy. You're getting a little bit hard as well, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, you love this. You're so What's dirty. This? <laughs> oh, oh, something you, in your pants. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. I need yeah. to use the car step, bro. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Stop. <laughs> you will not start again until I snap my fingers. Stop! Wait! Wait! He gets really aggressive. (laughs) God, I wish my impression was better. Fuck. You're close to the edge. Wait! (laughs) Fuck. Finish! Finish now! (laughs) Finish! Finish the job! Get to the cum shot! (laughs) Ah! If you cannot finish, put a finger of your butt. <laughs> ah, you'll be back to this later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And no one in the recording booth stops him because they're like, what the fuck do we do? That's Arnold Schwarzenegger. They're all shooting, coming. gang. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're shooting rope. They don't uh, have time to do anything. It's, it's an instructional video. They're following the instructions. Oh, my God. It's. <laughs> Are you getting sleepy? Well, just hold on a second, because you're going to start stroking it for me. Yeah. <laughs> my, my fa- I think maybe the my favorite side piece to this is that Tyler's Arnold is just a Skyrim NPC. <laughs> it's They're so one funny. and the same. Yeah. Really. Basically. They're 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 both buff. It still counts oh, for God. something, but he's always got like a stupid pun where he's got like, like you're fired, and then he'll like launch a missile or some shit like that. I know mm-hmm. there's a bunch of other options, but that was basically the whole Arnold Schwarzenegger genre throughout the entire yeah. '90s mm-hmm. was like a terrible like pun and then like action on the thing. So there needs to be like terrible pun and then come. Like he's got to have the final thing. <laughs> right. Shoot, shoot now. <laughs> I'm racking my brain for like Arnold quotes and mm-hmm. all of them are gone. I'm pulling a 404 on this one. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can, let's see if Famous we can use Arnold the power quotes. of the, the, here's a, here's a Arnold Schwarzenegger quote. Marijuana. That's not a drug. That's a plant. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's, so Arnold Schwarzenegger is like canonically, he's got like the brain of a 15 year old. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. I'm so, I'm finding some very dark Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes. This one reads, "If it bleeds, we can kill it." That's hmm. probably from a movie. That's got to be yeah. from what a about, movie. That's probably from like a Predator movie. Yeah. But what about this one? I had this child and it destroyed my family. What the fuck? I've got I've got one right here that's really good. I think that gay marriage is something that should be between a man and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that quote? I, I, 
I almost don't want to know the context. <laughs> what? What? Hey, could, Arnold. Uh, hey, Arnold. What was going on in your brain when you said milk is for babies? When you grow up, you have to drink beer. <laughs> when you grow up, you have to drink beer. What context did that come up? <laughs> milk is for babies. When you have to grow up, you drink your own calm. <laughs> You drink, you go, you shoot, shoot your lord now, now, now. These are long quotes. I didn't know he had that much to say. He had a lot. He has a lot of. Well, he's, he's also a, a public say. figure because he was a governor for a hot minute. So you're probably getting like quotes in that sense and not movie quotes. So you might have to adjust your Google search term. Yeah. He also said it's simple. If it jiggles, it's fat. <laughs> I mean, he's damn kind of, Arnie. He's kind of on point with that one. You can jiggle a lot of things. Well, maybe not. Jiggle actually is a very specific. Play with the underside yeah. for me. Touch your balls. <laughs> Touch your balls. Touch your balls. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Just adding everything at the end of it. Just do it. Do it now. <laughs> it's the most aggressive jack off video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you getting horny if you're not horny do it do it now get horny get horny for Arnold <laughs> failure is not an option everyone has to succeed failure is not an what option you have to succeed come come now do it I saw a woman wearing a sweatshirt with guess on it I said thyroid problem <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Arnold, something should stay inside. <laughs> here's here's one that's perfect for his for his jack off video. And when you visualize something very clearly, you believe that you 100% can get there. I believe you can 100% get there. Do it, do it now. Shoot calm. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Just Hold on. Now, that's also a really good concept. Like, how can we apply? Like, if there's just, like, fucking Google-ass results, like, motivational quotes, I guarantee no. a lot of them can be applied for coming. Yeah, I guarantee just, almost all of them. That's an archetype of that type of thing, Tyler. You just stumbled into a real thing, not a bit. <laughs> Make each day your masterpiece. <laughs> you are the artist. <laughs> your calm is the canvas. <laughs> do it, do it now. <laughs> do it, do it now. <laughs> like, I'm sure a lot of these can be applied to come. Oh my God. Fuck. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm just saying, this is the peak of comedy. Just imagining what if this but come. That's hilarious. Yeah, of course. That's like that's like the bedrock of all comedy, dude. <laughs> Hold on. You can even take a Malala quote and make it about that. There will always be hurdles in your life, but if you want to achieve a goal, you must continue. Continue. <laughs> do it. Do Wait. it now. <laughs> it, that one's not an Arnold quote? No. No, that's Malala. That, but you can... Malala Yousafzai? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't going to try and do the last name, mm -mm. but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Money doesn't make you happy. I now have 50 million, but I'm just as happy as when I had 48 million. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Arnold? Yep. I would assume oh, that's so. great. No, that's I that's love also that. Malala. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So I don't I don't think it counts as a gay dream. I think it just counts as like, oh, yeah, totally, that's dude. hilarious. It wasn't a gay dream. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh -huh. It definitely wasn't. And uh -huh. question, you said that you woke up laughing. I don't know if you're being serious or not. So I got to know, did you genuinely wake up laughing? Yes, I literally woke up and mm. was like, that's hilarious. I have one time in my entire life, have I ever woken myself up by laughing at a joke in my own dream? Tell us about it. It wasn't funny. Oh. <laughs> at all. It, the, here's the whole, here's what woke me up out of my slumber. Is someone said to me, the slang term, let him cook. And I responded, <laughs> heard chef. Ooh. And I woke myself up laughing. That's good though. Is, is it? it? I don't think it is. Well, it's I don't not think funny. it is. 
No, it, it's not funny. But that does seem like how you would respond to that, right? Sure. <laughs> They're both uh, cooking terms. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my God. Speaking of celebrities, we actually have an audience question that goes along with this. Oh, hell yeah. Omnic asked us. Oh, I miss him. It's good, Omnic. If you could have brought a celebrity to show and tell when you were in elementary school, who oh. would you have brought? Question. Of course. I tell Oh my god, just answer the fucking Tay, just answer the fucking question. All right. What do you I what will, do you want? What do you want, Tay? What is possibly your question? I will rescind my question. Now you'll never know. Good. I think I think that's how you want it anyway. Good, because it was gonna be something stupid. Like, does Hatsune Miku count as a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> Can I bring the cat in the hat? The real question is celebrity back when we were in show and tell or celebrity whenever? When you were in elementary school, which was okay. a part of the question. I don't know. I guess I just probably would have brought MLK because I really respected him. <laughs> I probably would have brought Jesus. <laughs> I would have like, I would have like totally brought Rosa Parks. Honestly, not even to show and tell, but to like step aside and give her the space to shine you know like like not center myself so that she can tell and show us what it's really like i would probably rbg rgb was it rbg or rb happy international women's month Which RG means? rgb the, the gaming R keyboard yeah 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 the yeah. gaming keyboard it it's hard because i probably would have ended up bringing like something like a pro wrestler right like it probably yeah. would have ended up being something pretty dumb yeah, well yeah but were you watching wrestling yeah really I thought i knew you you did you didn't watch wrestling in elementary school i well, did yeah i did but i didn't think you would wow oh oh tyler i had the action figures i had shirts i had video games okay i thought you were just watching like dr oz with your mom and you we're just going to be like, I want to bring Ellen. Yeah, that See, too. There's a non-zero chance that I would say Princess Diana too, because like maybe she was already saw her. dead. No, not back when I was in elementary school. Yeah, she, she was super dead. She was she, she was dead in, in like, the 90s. Yeah, yeah, the 90s. Yeah, you were born you weren't in, in elementary school in the wait. How old are you? I f well, yeah, I forgot. You're what 40? No, God damn it. You maybe started kindergarten when you were like it wasn't in 99 right maybe I, th I thought diana passed in 99 i don't understand how time works anyway so i might just be completely off base here she was literally dead before you were in school okay never mind so uh, you would have had to hey if you would have been able to bring her to show and tell the fucking <laughs> queen would have killed her again like she would have been like uh-uh not happening nope. Nope. that's another car accident on your way there um Realistically, like my real answer probably would have been like Dale Earnhardt Jr. Probably would have oh, been that. Fuck yeah. yeah, brother. Yeah. This is my buddy Dale, everyone. Um, he's fast as fuck, gang. You seen <laughs> this dude? I like I like driving cars. Hello, uh, children of elementary school. My name is Dale Earnhardt Jr. I do like driving fast. Uh my daddy drove fast. I drive fast. That's pretty much all there is to say. I would have loved to have brought Goku, though. Yeah, th that was... Okay, now you guys get to understand my question before we started this whole thing. Do they have to be a, a real person? Character? Yeah. Because then that takes away from celebrity. How dumb of a kid were you? Like, how d how stupid were you? Were you like, oh, would you have actually thought you could pull Goku from the television and be like, I want to bring Goku for show and tell? Nah, man. I mean, like, if we're, t if we're being real here, I was kind of borderline as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had a completely different path. As a kid? Hmm? As a kid? Hmm? You think it ended there? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just... Uh -oh. That's what I was mostly curious about. No, um, I, I think I'm pretty comfortable in how um, I turned out, we'll say. I'm glad okay. you think no, that. No, pause. <laughs> I hated the silence there. What yep. the fuck? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> and we support you. <clears throat> it's getting hot in here. Wait, can I flip the question a little bit? 
Sure. Yeah, go for it. Let's say you were going to go to an elementary school now. Oh, no. And live out. And, and you wanted to bring a celebrity now to introduce to the kids. Let, let's let not even make it elementary school. You're doing a workplace show and tell. <laughs> the 3M offices decided we're doing show and tell today instead of making tape and stuff. So who are you bringing? I would bring the voice actor for Kratos. Okay. It, you didn't even play those games, so explain. He's cool and his voice is neat. Okay, but that's crazy sure. because you didn't even play. Uh, I would reiterate what so Tori you said. You haven't game, even played though. the games. I can still appreciate the man and the talent. Yeah, but that's cra- That's a crazy thing to do when his voice is one thing and you're like, I'm going to bring this as my celebrity. The dude whose content I haven't even absorbed. I know, huh. he, says, I know he says boy. Boy, he does. He does say that. So I'll, I, you know, when you're right, you're right. I think I'd probably bring. Ah, not much has changed since being a kid, I guess, because I think I'd bring John Cena. <laughs> On God, I, On he's God. evergreen. Pretty look. K- kids are happy to see him at the worst point in their life. You think that fucking Jim from accounting's not going to be stoked when you, he gets one of these guys? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, John Cena has the most broad appeal out of any celebrity, I think. He's yeah, in absolutely. Movies. He's got WWE. He's just like a genuinely cool dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and he's hot right now. People are going to be like, yo, Ricky Stanicki, what up, my dude? Yeah, yeah people are going to be hot on like Peacemaker, Ricky Stanicki, or Evergreen. It's fucking John Cena. It's John like, yeah. Cena. Yeah. Everyone at least is going to be like, yeah, like, it's a winning person. So like if, if I bring him, I am going to be, I, I don't, I feel like it's going to give me a better image for the rest of, uh, I don't know, the, the, the fiscal quarter. <laughs> I can't help but think, okay, that just confirmed to me, Tori. I can't help but think you're trying to win show and tell. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> now imagine, imagine everyone was though. imagine this. You you bring John Cena in for show and tell, but the whole time he just belittles and makes fucking fun of you the whole time. Like, yeah, Dory brought me in here br- trying to win all your guys' favors. What a fucking dork. <laughs> he what would a make loser. it sound charming. Guaranteed he'd make it sound charming and nice. But wouldn't it weigh on you? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Hmm. Wait, are we meeting John this, Cena? This, uh, get on here, <laughs> John! <laughs> oh my the god! The intro music still plays. Like I didn't even edit it in. It's just coming from your office. God, puts it plays it there. in every every time he goes through a door. The music plays. Yeah. And also, let's not try to pretend that when we didn't all try to win show and tell back in elementary oh, school. Oh, of course. It was a that, competition. I don't think I did. I didn't know it was a competition. I am finding out right now that it was a competition. Oh. You Do were... you know what you brought to show and tell? I know uh... what I brought. I brought a blue eyes white dragon, like little figure. So it was second grade. Second grade was the mm-hmm. only time I ever had show and tell. We had it one time and that was it. And I, it was probably because someone brought something fucked up and then the teacher was like, maybe we don't do that again. I brought a rock from the Grand Canyon. Oh. I brought a blue eyes white dragon, and I brought a Goku, and then I brought um, like I I literally just brought like three toys. That's I it. probably I probably also brought a Yu Gi Oh card. I can't think of which one. Maybe Black Luster Soldier. Um, and then. Un- Reveal Buster Blader. <laughs> like you fucking do the voice <laughs> and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, Kaiba. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure on one occasion, I also brought in a trophy that I had won from swim team, which not a good look now. I've got to be real with you. <laughs> it was the dick sucking trophy. I can't even. That's contest- the firefighters that give that. Yeah, one. that's the firefighters. So you were trying to, that was your, okay. So here's what I found out. Two things. A, People were trying to win show and tell. Mm-hmm. B, yeah. you thought your swim team trophy was <laughs> going to be the hot ticket yep. item. You were yeah. trying to, let me, I went out just to con- reconfirm. You were trying to, that was your winning strategy was a swim team trophy. And I need to iron out right now that I am fully aware of how fucking dumb and stupid that is now. 
You're like, yeah, I totally get it now. I fully get it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I totally understand now. The worst now, part is that it was a third place trophy. <laughs> It was third in the state. Okay, that means I'm number three in the entire state. That's not number one. Why would you show it <laughs> off? That's sh that's a point of shame. <laughs> Tori, what did you bring in to try and win show and tell? I'm trying to like bring up a fully locked in memory of it because it's I, it, tough. It, it doesn't. F I don't feel a hundred percent on this, but I'm pretty sure that I brought my dog. Yo, can you do that? That I had, that's my mom took like a half day and came out and like we we were doing it outside on at like the park all sitting in the grass doing show mm -hmm. and tell and I'm pretty sure my mom brought my dog on a leash and then she like stayed and had lunch with me. You remember when it was cool to have your parents come and stay and eat lunch with you? Like unironically, I think that is how you win show and tell. You brought a yeah. dog. Your parent is there to have lunch with you for the afternoon at school. Yeah. Like that's that's akin to like riding high. And you know that if my mom came to eat lunch with me, she picked up fast food on the way. Oh, oh you she, fucking you had know McDonald's. It, dude. So dude, I think you I had nuggets. fucking dominated. You did this win might show be and tell. a fever dream, but I think you I won. You won. You That's actually it. won. That that is the first place finish at show and tell. Yeah. I don't I don't think anyone won because here's what I think happened. I'm I'm trying to piece together a memory here. And it's that someone brought in their mom and their mom reeked of cigarettes. Oh, like no. awful that cigarettes. That might have been my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mom at least like knew how to cover it up. This was someone's mom who was like, no. This is a I didn't stop during the pregnancy kind of mom. I literally mm. just put one out in the hallway right now. Sure. Like it was bad. That's what I remember from show and tell. Uh-huh. Fuck, I didn't know it was a competition. I would have been behaving so differently all okay, these okay, years if okay, I knew Okay, here's the win. question. Now that you know it's a competition, what would you have brought to win? Yeah. Within I your power at the time. You can't just say John Cena here because... Yeah, yeah. Like, within my power, I think what I would have done as a second grader, not knowing that, like, you totally cannot do this, I would have brought in a knife that my grandpa gave me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, 100%. I had, like, a switchblade knife from my grandpa. People definitely did that, too. Like, that I would have brought in. You, you unironically, as a second grader, I can see writing to make a wish. <laughs> I mean, like, I really wish that John Cena was there for my show and tell. And, like, through a miraculous miscommunication, they thought you were a dying child and he would show up anyway. <laughs> I thought the wishes were just for anyone. I thought we just all got them. <laughs> that I thought we all could make a wish. Isn't this America? <laughs> we have a second grader that wished for Radiohead to be here. <laughs> what? How does he know that? <laughs> cool parents. I really love Kid A. Guess we're going to be having a short performance from Rod Stewart. Weird <laughs> choice, but. Um, I think I would have brought in a weapon and I think it would have won. I, I, I'm yeah. pretty confident that it would have won. Like the only, well, we my, were a little, we were a little more loosey goosey in the '90s too. I think you would have gotten away with it. With like, no, I would not have gotten wrist. a teacher. A teacher would was, not have. They would have been not chill with it. This is this post 9/11. Definitely like, yeah, this is post 9/11. Right, but pre Columbine, right? I don't think so. No, Columbine was before 9/11. Tay, what is your perception of time? Oh, yeah, no. Columbine was like in the '90s. Oh no. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, no. I didn't actually believe be, saying that you were 40 or like 45 used to be a fun joke, but now I'm starting to think it's real. I need uh -huh. to see your license. I need to see a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. Well, Columbine was 99 and it was, and it was on 420. Blaze it. Tori. Respectfully. Tori. <laughs> <laughs> By blaze it. I mean, everyone put up your memorial nope. candles and blaze them. <laughs> I'm not going to entertain that one. Come on. <laughs> Maybe if there was a little more herb in their life, we all could have found peace and love and not had a the tragedy. Uh, guys. What? It's not like I'm saying Dylan was a good guy. Right, but where's the, where's the space to have fun with this? 
That's what it's this show in is about. Blaze up your memorial candles. That's where the fun is. <laughs> 420 blaze it. I'm very sorry to all of the everyone affected. It's a horrible tragedy. Mm-hmm. 420 blaze it. <laughs> God damn it. Blaze it party like it's 1999. Stop. <laughs> Please. Now watch this drive. Like, it's the equivalent of George Bush. <laughs> I call upon all nations to stop this terrorist activity. Now watch this drive. <laughs> yeah, if the president can do it, I can do it. Kind of hard. Um, Sorry, I'm just picturing Arnold Schwarzenegger delivering that. Now watch this drive line, except for it ends with now come, come now. <laughs> I call upon all nations to stop this terrorist activity. Now come, come now. Do it. Do it. Jack off. Do it now. I love how up until jerk off, there could have been some ambiguity of like, oh, does he mean like come to the fight or? Finish the fight. Do what chief says. Come now. And by come now and finish the fight, I mean jerk it. (laughs) <laughs> jerk no. our penis god I know we have no time left but Arnold Schwarzenegger is Master Chief why didn't they do it fuck Paramount <laughs> what are you doing on that Covenant ship giving the Covenant back the bomb <laughs> I'm finishing the fight how much time was left on the bomb Chief you don't want to know <laughs> <laughs> that sucks fucking screams every line i think all in our in our closing second here i have to get very serious i do have to issue a redaction look i know i was the biggest hater on the halo tv show season two got good they fired season one guy season two kind of fucks occasionally occasionally it fucks occasionally it fucks where they're like They'll like set up a line. They know exactly what they're doing with Halo now. They got a new showrunner and they know what they're doing where it's like, are you sure the chief is gone? I'm not so confident because we're getting a report that says they saw a man just outside the facility that was, quote, the the largest man they've ever seen in their life. (laughs) Smash cut to chief with a scope, like looking down a rifle and it's like, yeah, (laughs) let's go. And you know what else needs to finish now? (laughs) (laughs) So go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, or review. Really helps us out, gets us into curated lists, and hey, helps us beat that algorithm. If you want to join in the discourse, you can join our Discord. The link to that is in the information of wherever you're listening to this show. You can also go to youtube.com slash shapelessmedia to find every single episode of this show along with hundreds of other videos. We've now reached the point in the episode where it's the final baseless claim. Our parting thoughts are... Bye-bye. So long. Farewell. We'll see you next week. Whatever you feel compelled to regurgitate out, you know, just vomit. Now's your safe space. Who would be the best celebrity to have JOI content? I don't want to just go the president route, but I think George W. Bush might do a good job. You're so close. (laughs) You're almost there. Just keep going. You're going to have the no biggest one comes cum better shot. Than me. I'm telling you, it's the biggest cum shot. I have the biggest cum shots. But you got to stop right before you finish. The goon is what's going to get you there. Hillary Clinton, she couldn't come nearly as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton will make you stop. I'll let you go all the way. <laughs> Hillary Clinton wouldn't let you come. That's why Bill was cheating. Bill was cheating because Hillary wouldn't let you come. I would let you come. I did not goon with that woman. (laughs) Uh, let me be clear. Fuck. I'm coming. (laughs)